In this video, I'll be introducing the Xerox Altalink B8090. It's a high volume black and white office machine at 90 pages per minute. It also does copy, print, scan, fax, email, and along with other um, functions. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick overview of the machine, and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you the uh, printing quality and the printing speed. Uh, here, is going to be your toner cartridge and your drum cartridge. To replace your drum, you're going to go to the side, open up your side, and as you can tell right here is your fuser unit. Uh, very similar to a lot of other machines, simply just twist these off to replace a fuser, but you do need to open this door in order to take your drum out. So now I'm going over back to the drum. You put this lever down once your door is open, and then pull out your drum to replace. Once again, make sure that this drum is not exposed to light for too long. Close it back up, lock it up, and then you can close your door. Uh, one thing that I forgot to mention was your second bias transfer rollers right here, which is also replaceable by just simply putting these clicks up and uh, replacing it with a new one. So closing the side door and your toner, same thing, pull the lever. The door doesn't need to be open, but you pull right out, put right back in, lock it up. Uh, this little green, uh, blue lever is actually to clean your drum. So if you're getting some sort of copy quality, printing quality issues, first chuck your, um, your glass. But if it's not a copy quality, it's a printing issue. Always just try cleaning your drum before ordering a new drum. So here I'm gonna go ahead and close the door. I'm going over to the high volume finisher for the B8090. Now this high volume is not a booklet maker finisher, but it has staple, one to two staple, and then it has two three hole punch, which the little circles fall right in there. This finisher is practically brand new. So now I'll go ahead and print some images off of the USB that I have connected here. As you can tell, the toner needs to be replaced, but that would be replaced uh, before the sale. So I'm gonna click no right there. This specific model, just really quickly, the billing usage only has a total of 68,698 impressions. This is black and white once again. And then the supplies currently stand at toner 20%, print cartridge 67, fuser module 76, and transfer roller rate 86. Once again, the toner will be replaced to a brand new toner before shipping this unit out. So I'm gonna hit the home button and print from. I'm gonna print from USB that I have connected there. I already have some images on the USB. As of now, I only have eight and a half by 11 on the machine. So I'm gonna print the eight and a half by 11 images. So flowers, you can uh, select finishing, but as of now, I'm just gonna go ahead and print. This machine takes up to 11 by 17. Letter size, eight and a half by 11, double-sided. So this is a black and white image. Very nice quality, 1200 by 1200 DPI. Uh, mostly, you won't be using it for images, but if you were, it's still nice black and white quality. Okay, so here I just want to show you a little bit on the speed side of it. I'm going to hit home, to do just regular information. I'm just going to print, as you can tell, it goes right through there. it's a 
very quick machine. Um, this is what I just printed, which is just information pages here. And I'm going to make some copies. You can do it through the ADF or the glass, whichever you prefer. Um, most people use the ADF copy. And I'm just going to do 10 pages. you can tell at 90 pages per minute it's a pretty quick machine and these are just copies and prints so, all very clean black nice font okay. so that is just making copies out of the B8090 and uh, this specific model does have the high volume finisher, which is going to allow you on stapling and two, three hole punch, like I spoke about in the beginning of the video. So let's say I wanted to staple. These three pages. Okay, so you do. Home. Copy. Once again, this machine is not connected to the network, but here are all the options. Um, you yourself can play around if you want it lighter, lighter if you want it darker, um, what kind of sharp sharpness you're looking for, automatic background, compression, contrast, um, mirror image. You can really play around with your job as much as you want to. I won't be really playing around with it here, but I'm going to do a finishing. And let's say I wanted two staples on eight and a half by 11. Okay. Okay. And start. So in this case, I actually ran out of paper, but give me one second and I'll go ahead and insert some new paper. Tray one. Is out. So I insert new paper, as you can tell here, this is uh, just a regular paper tray. It'll hold eight and a half by 11 or 11 by 17. These are the adjustable tabs that you can adjust when you put different paper in. As of now, I'm just inserting eight and a half by 11 on each tray. Okay, the screen's gonna tell you to confirm what type of paper you put in there. In this scenario, I put um, eight and a half plain white, nothing special. You can also use different taper, paper types, such as gloss, um, heavier stock. As you 
can tell here, these are the copies I made and it did one, two staple. You can do one staple. Uh, you can do two, three hole punch. If you want, I will show you and demonstrate how to do two, three hole punch. Once again, this is just regular paper and uh, configuration pages. So copy. And then you scroll down here, click on finishing, hole punch, eight and a half. Okay, and let's click start. Very quick machine, high volume finisher really gives it a few more options that are kind of neat. In this scenario, we did, we did three punches. So that's kind of nice and it'll do them on all pages. Uh, that's a finisher, high volume finisher, practically a brand new finisher as you can tell. This is, a, once again, it's a Xerox Ultralink B8090. It's newer technology. Um, very extremely fast. Good uh, black and white quality. And uh, yes, this is up for sale. So if you guys have any questions on how to remove consumables, how to change anything, please feel free to contact us. Uh, this is on the market, just came in. Um, and feel free to contact us if you guys have any further questions. Uh, if you're looking for pricing or availability, just once again, call us. Um, we're located in Wakanda, Illinois. And the company name is Green World Copier and Supplies. Hope you enjoyed this video.